Anyways, a little bit of an update. I haven't filmed in a week. That's sort of how things are gonna go. Cause I'm busy. I'm very busy. But a little salty about something that happened yesterday at work. Now that I go back over everything that happened, I'm like, well, of course it makes sense now. All the signs were there, I guess, but I was just having a really good day. I was having a good day. I was like, wow, people aren't being mean or a little snooty. I mean, there was one lady, but I was gonna give that. And so I was like, wow, today's been really cool. And then I'm starting to get a line and Express is starting to get a line, but I'm moving quicker because I was a main cashier today, or yesterday. And I noticed this guy is looking at me from the express lane. He was in the express lane, keep note of that. And he's looking at me, and he moves over to my lane. And he's still looking at me, and watching me. And I can see this out of my peripheral vision, and I'm like, why is he staring at me? Why is he watching me? Maybe it's because I'm wearing eyeshadow, and I look a little bit prettier than I normally do, but, I don't know. I felt good yesterday. Anyways, so it gets to be his turn and he's still watching me. And he tells me his phone number because we have a reward system and so to look up their discount and stuff, we just type in their phone number if they don't have the card with them. And so he told me his phone number and I was like, wow, that's a lot of sevens. And he looked a little like jittery I wouldn't say jittery, but he was like caught off guard that I was saying something to him. Because he was like, huh? Oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, uh, weird, but okay. Don't turn yellow. Don't turn yellow. Ah, okay. I guess I'll sit and chat. And so, I'm noticing he's checking out diapers. Which is cute and all, whatever. And so the total is 15, 15 something. And then he hands me a hundred dollar bill. Now I didn't think about anything because I looked at him and he was wearing a nice button up shirt and he looked clean, shaven, clean cut, like all like had a watch or whatever, a little pen. He looked well dressed and I was like, oh, maybe he's just balling. <laughs> uh, he has the opposite of balling. He was not balling. He actually needed money, I guess. So he hands me a hundred. And I look at it, and it was green, but it wasn't like green, green. It just looked like an old bill. And so I pen checked it, because we were supposed to do that with 50s and above, I pen checked it, and it was amber, it passed, and I looked at the face, there was a face, and there was a line. So I was like, okay, it's a real bill. It just looks weird. So I took it. <laughs> um. What made me go back and check it, to like double check, is his body language. Because I, I, I held it up in the air and still out of my peripheral vision, I saw him like side eye look at me. As he was handing it to me, he like side eye looked at me. And even when I checked it, he was still staring at me. And I was like, why is this dude just staring at me? Just, you don't need to watch my every move. Yeah, speed around me. And so, I take out the cash, and a lot of people expect us to just give the cash to them, but like, we're supposed to cut it back. So he has his arm handed out, but when he notices that I don't hand him the cash yet, he brings his arm back, and he's like, staring at me, like, weirdly, he's giving me a weird look. And I go to count back the cash, he goes, oh. And by this time, his hand, when he's holding it out, is like, shaking. And I'm like, why is his hand shaking? I'm not gonna judge him, maybe he had Parkinson's. But he, he, he was like mid 50s. He didn't look that old. Like to have Parkinson's unless he was like that one actor. So I had him cash and then he goes and leaves. And he like walks out really fast. And during that whole ordeal, I was like, that was really weird. Why did I stop? Okay. And so I turned around to Javen who's behind me. He 
work, he, we work together now. And I tell Javen about the body language and how he gave me a hundred. And he was like, uh, I would check that again. Like, let me see it. And so I hand it to him and the marker pen is still amber, but Javen looks at it and he goes, and this is fake. And I was like, what do you mean? There's a face, there's a line, it's amber. He was like, yeah, but this is fake. And I was like, what do you mean? So I take it over to customer service and I hand it to customer service and they look at it and they're like, yeah, this is really weird. It, it has a face and stuff, but it's fake because it has no ridges. Oh yeah, so I did notice this when, I, when he handed me the, the bill that during the tuxedo, it didn't have ridges, but I thought that was because it was old, because it looked old. So I made sure it had all the other things there. But apparently if it doesn't have the ridges at all, like it looked like the ridges was like worn away. Like, oh, it's an old bill, it's wrinkly, no ridges. Let me look for the other things. But I guess it has to have still the ridges there. And I didn't have any. So, um, so yeah, my, my till was short 85 bucks. That was great. I wish I would have, I probably, I should have known that. I didn't know that. I should have known that. My loss. But I was having such a good day. I think I jinxed myself. I probably jinxed myself. I always do that. I always get the weird customers. Not to be complaining. It's just an, uh, an observation I get. I attract a lot of weird people in my life, like inside and outside of work. Now I don't. I don't care even if it's like real or not no I do care if it's not real I don't care even if it is real I'm still gonna go all the way to customer service have them look at it and be like oh hey check this out and even if a person wants like change back from a bill like from their purchase because you can't get changed back after you've already purchased it we can't do that anymore but I'm just gonna be like sorry I don't have enough money in the drawer for this bill, but I'll take it to customer service and we'll get you money for it. And that's how I'm going to be taking these bills. I'm not going to accept any large bills on my drawer anymore because I'm not trying to trying to cost my job for a criminal. They're being criminal. They are stealing. They're stealing money. That's what it is. It's still stealing if the other person is unaware of your intentions. I think I learned that in one of my online classes this past semester. Like, you don't have to have some, you don't have to rob someone for it to be stealing. It's still stealing even if you're not physically taking anything from them. They can be giving it to you and it's still stealing since they're not aware of the full situation.